Russian expert warns of looming military conflict between Azerbaijan and Armenia. Yerevan claims that Moscow is preparing a coup and openly speaks about attempts of the fifth column and pro-Russian Armenian opposition to seize power through terrorist methods. According to Russian expert Dmitry Malyshev, this blatant disinformation appeared back in the autumn of 2023 and Maria Zakharova literally called it misinformation. It is not quite clear who the Armenian government refers to as the fifth column. In particular, the Bagramyan 26 telegram channel, which is close to the Armenian government, wrote about the coup attempt. But almost six months have passed and no coup has taken place. The Armenian government should pay more attention to the problems of normal socio-economic development of the Republic and not to the search for mythical enemies, which Russia has never been and is not for the people of Armenia. He added in an interview with Caliber Media Outlet, Russia has repeatedly warned Armenia about the threat of a repeat of the Ukrainian scenario, but it seems that Yerevan does not pay any attention to this, blindly following France's orders. Dmitry Malyshev says that such a position of Armenia, which, however, is perfectly natural, is perceived in Russia extremely negatively. He says that Armenia dreams of revenge, not peace, with Azerbaijan at all and continues to purchase armaments intensively. Conflicts like the Karabakh conflict, as world practice shows, do not stop by themselves, they arise at any moment. Yerevan says that Armenia needs a new military partner other than Russia. It should probably be France. Armenia stated a year ago that it had prepared the text of the peace agreement and was only waiting for Azerbaijan's consent. The countries continue to have numerous territorial claims against each other. The conclusion of a peace agreement should be preceded by at least a partial resolution of a whole set of disputed issues. Under these conditions, it is not possible to talk about the conclusion of a full-fledged peace agreement that would suit the peoples of both states, he added. Economic military indicators suggest Russia is preparing for large-scale war with NATO ISW. Some economic and military indicators suggest that Russia may be preparing for a large-scale conventional war with NATO likely on a shorter timeline than what some Western analysts have initially posited. The Institute for the Study of War assessed in its report. Although not an imminent threat, the ISW assesses that Russian President Vladimir Putin's emphasis on growing Russia's economic and military capabilities is an indication that Russia is gearing up for conflict beyond a protracted war in Ukraine. Following Putin's rigged victory in the 2024 Russian presidential election, the Russian leader met with party faction leaders in the Russian State Duma, Russia's lower house, to emphasize Russia's priorities in growing the economy. According to a readout released by the Kremlin, Putin emphasized the need to grow the new elite that will mature on the front as opposed to supporting Russian oligarchs who have lined their pockets in amassing wealth through privatization and corruption after the fall of the Soviet Union. The ISW suggests that by outlining a mandate to Russian political elites, Putin is likely seeking to stabilize Russia's long-term financial position with increased government expenditure. Putin's willingness to risk his relationships with the wealthy strongmen who support him points to more expansive military ambitions. Despite opposition from some Russian oligarchs at the start of Russia's full-scale invasion, a shift to a wartime economy will reportedly grow Russia's gross domestic product by 2.6% this year, with 3.6% growth in 2023. The ISW also assessed that an expansion of Russia's military capabilities as well as military restructuring are indicators that Russia is setting conditions for the possibility of future direct conflict with NATO. The ISW gave no timeline as to when they believe a direct conflict with NATO may play out, noting that a timeline for Russia's preparedness to launch an attack against NATO is heavily reliant on the financial resources Putin is willing to put against military efforts. Russia could attack NATO as early as 2026, Polish president. Russia may have the military capability to attack NATO as early as 2026 to 2027. Polish President Andrzej Duda said this in an interview with CNBC. 
The Polish president defended his recent proposal to increase the required threshold for NATO defense spending from 2 to 3 percent of GDP. From my point of view, it's a question of common sense. New reports are coming in and I recently saw one by German experts which said that soon, perhaps as early as 2026 or 2027, Putin, by putting his economy on a war footing, will have such military might that he will be able to attack NATO. Duda said, the alarm bells are ringing. We have two or three years in which we can increase our efforts, stockpile ammunition and produce weapons to maximize European security. Get ready and make sure the invasion does not happen, he urged. He also urged the US to continue to support Ukraine, warning that if Russia is not stopped in Ukraine, the cost will rise sharply later. The Russian aggression has to be stopped at all costs. If it's not stopped, it will spill over and then I fear US money won't be enough to stop Russia. US soldiers will have to step in and no one wants that, Duda said. The same time he said that every dollar donated to support Ukraine, every Bradley transferred to Ukraine, every weapon transferred to Ukraine, every box of artillery ammunition transferred to Ukraine staves off the Russian victory. Earlier, German intelligence services had prepared an analysis for the German government examining the military threat posed by Russia, which predicted that it could attack the territory of NATO member states starting in 2026. In recent weeks, a number of European NATO countries have warned of the risk of Russian aggression in the near future. For example, German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius said in January that the alliance should prepare for a Russian attack on a NATO country within five to eight years.